Snack time before talk time. I'll get a snack. And I'm all cleaned up over here. Celery. Sabu, how about celery? Hey, here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah. There you go. And I'm going to have a piece too. We're all eating celery. Celery's good, isn't it, Sabu? It's great just hanging out with a lemur and eating celery. Hey, that's fine. What are you doing? I think you've had enough. You don't want to get too full. Give me some of the food. <laughs> that's noisy stuff. Yeah, Zob, it is noisy. Is it yummy? It is for puppies, but not really for lemurs, because this hmm? is puppy food. It made a loud sound. I heard it in my ear from way out the... Ears! I couldn't believe my mind. I saw ears as long as my... As long as my arm. Yeah. As long as your arm? Yeah, on the head of a creature. Was she a rabbit? Like her? Oh, well, a rabbit. <laughs> rabbit has long ears, but her ears stick straight up. <laughs> the creature I saw had floppy ears that hung down, not up, down. Not up, down. Kind of upside down. Who is it, Zob? Whoa, help! Whoa! Oh. 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 That's what you have to tell me. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? There was a lot of skin, wrinkles of skin, and a big sniffing nose. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He's a happy creature. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? She's a big-eared kind of dog creature. Do you know who she is? Okay, so she's a dog. With long ears, wrinkly, floppy skin, and her nose to the ground. Well, then she must be a bloodhound! <laughs> Mystery animals here! <laughs> <laughs> she's licking my ear. <laughs> I didn't even hear her coming. That's her, that's her. A dog. Hi, dog. What kind of a dog is she again? She's a bloodhound. Bloodhound. And look at her ears. 
Those have got to be some of the longest ears in the creature world. <gasps> <gasps> ears! Oh, I almost forgot. There were a lot of littler ears flopping along behind her. There were? Uh-huh. <gasps> Look, here they come. Whoa. Bloodhound Blood puppies! What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at those ears flopping. Whoa. Floppy ears. Hey guys! Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, how are you doing? <laughs> hey! Wow, you have big ears for a little puppy. Imagine if when you put your head on the ground, your ears touch the ground? Those are some big ears. Bloodhounds don't just have amazing ears for hearing. Some people think a bloodhound's long ears help him to smell. With his nose to the ground, his ears flop forward and kind of push the smell to his nose. Keep making it smell me! Keep making it smell me! Go, Slime, at the go! Will they find her? Can they smell me yet? I'm too shivery. He'll never find me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, he shipped me down! He shipped me down! No, don't take a shot! Oh, oh, his shipper slimed me. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Look at all this loose skin on a bloodhound puppy. Makes picking them up a little hard. They're kind of like picking up a water balloon. <laughs> it kind of jiggles and wiggles. You're not too sure if you've got it or not. Even though she's a little puppy, her ears are still a lot bigger than mine. Hey, Chris, I'm looking at your ear and at the puppy ear, and you know what? Ear here. <laughs> ear here. Both ears, but not the same. Yeah, Zob, we all have different ears, but they all do the same thing. Take ghost bats. They have huge ears, each as big as the bat's face. Bat ears can hear ultrasonic sounds that most other ears can't. How about rhinos? They can't see very well, so rhino ears are really important. Rhino ears even turn to point in the direction of sounds. Then there are chimpanzees. Notice anything about those ears? Yeah, they look a lot like human ears. That's because chimps and humans are closely related. And lemurs are related too, right? Right, Zob. So, all these ears may look a little different, but there's one thing they all do. Ears here! Did you hear that? No, <laughs> I heard it, because I'm all ears. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything either. But these long-eared puppies sure did. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to use their ears and noses to find out where that sound is coming from. That puppy's off to check it out. Let's follow him. Okay, puppy, lead the way. <laughs> Carrots being munched. That's the sound. Hey, a bunch of bunnies. Hey, even though all our ears hear, a dog's ear can hear sounds people ears can't. We didn't hear anything. But this puppy heard these bunnies. Do you hear them now, Chris? Yeah, I do now. Do you? <laughs> these puppies are hearing sounds we can't even hear at all. Yep, and they're looking for something in particular. Really? How do you know? Um, I just know I know. It must be his lemur sense. But, yeah. My lemur sense told me. Well, one thing's for sure. We have to help those puppies listen for whatever they're listening for. So, you know what time it is? Time to finish our super ear sensors. <laughs> Munga Tsika super ear sensors. But what's a super ear sensor? When we put on our super ear sensors, we'll be able to hear everything a bloodhound puppy hears. Just have to tune the acoustic booster a little. What's that? Sideways modulator. Oh. Ooh, this antenna. Mm. You know what they're doing? No, I don't either. You know who here's great? My friend from Zabu Land. I was leap, leap, leaping along. <laughs> leap, 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 
leap when I bumped into Sensei. Oh, oh, oh. He was very excited. Oh, Zabu, Zabu! I really want to test my senses, my smelling, my feeling, my seeing. Can you go hide over there so I can try and find you? Oh, sure, Sensei. Oh, one, two, three. And I knew exactly how I was going to hide. I hopped over to a striped fruit tree and I ate striped fruit. And then I turned stripey and camouflaged into the striped tree. <laughs> I don't think even Sensei can see me here. Say <laughs> Zabu! I can smell you, but I can't see you. <laughs> you hear? I'm over here. Oh, wow, what senses. My ears are so super, they can even hear a striped tree talking. <laughs> it's not the striped tree talking, it's me, Zabu with stripes. <laughs> Zabu with stripes, no, that's a good one. I could hear you, but I couldn't see you, Zabu. But wait, now I hear something else. What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> it's my little sisters. Oh, and then since it's little sisters slid down the tree. Hi, since it's little sisters. <laughs> I was so happy to see them that we played and laughed for the rest of the day. The end. We're done. This is how we're going to hear sounds we can't normally hear. Because now we can hear like bloodhounds. And we can help the puppies find that sound that they've been looking for. Keep your ears open. What do you hear? Oh, I don't want to talk too loud in her ear because she hears so well. How are they doing? Oh yeah, I hear it too. Yeah, I hear it too. Let's follow our ears. And make sure you don't trip over yours. I think we have a lead on the noisemaker. It's a spring hair. And how about those ears? What ears? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> a spring hare is an incredible animal with incredible ears. And he needs those ears when he's wandering around the African savanna at night. Because a spring hare looks for food at night, but so do a lot of his predators, like hyenas. A spring hare eats grass, but hyenas eat spring hares. So the spring hare always has to be on guard while he's looking for food. And that's where his ears help out. The second he hears something coming, he's out of there. It's a good thing he can leap 12 feet in a single bound when he has to. I can't believe how huge the spring hare's eyes are. That's because a spring hare is nocturnal. And nocturnal means he comes out at night. So he uses his ears and his eyes to stay away from those African predators. Oh, and look at the little hands he has. These are some of the longest claws in the creature world. His toenails are long, too. Look at that. Oh, look how he cleans himself. He takes from his mouth some spit and then cleans off his nose like that. <laughs> wow, look at him. He sure likes to scratch a lot. Yeah, come on. Let's scratch like a spring hare. All right, get scratching. You can do it. Scratching like a spring hare. Wow, spring hare. Hmm? That's spring hare sound, but that's not the sound the puppies are looking for. You're right, Sam. So what sound are the puppies looking for? I don't know, but it's really getting noisy in here. Tell me about it, Zog. And finding the sound now is going to be like trying to find a chick's peep in a thunderstorm. Yeah, there's just so many animals making their animal sounds. <laughs> Macaw! <laughs> Camel! <laughs> Snowy Owl! Capuchin Monkey! Baboon! Too many animal sounds! Our superhero sensors are cheating! Oh, not the puppy food! 
<laughs> it's right here. The sound's over here. That's the particular sound the puppies were listening for. <gasps> of course. Oh. The puppies were listening for the sound of the puppy food that Chris spilled before. Well, it's a good thing I spilled it again. These puppies are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's noisy, but it's yummy to the puppies. Here's some water to wash it down. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's right over here. Want some water? Want some water? Oh, they're thirsty. Bloodhound puppies' ears fall in the water when they drink. <laughs> They sure do, Zob. I wonder, do soggy ears hear? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's call them for playtime. <laughs> Come on, puppies. Go, puppies, go. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> you want to play? Let's play. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bloodhoundish. How about you, bloodhoundish? I feel bloodhoundish. Bloodhoundish. I'm a bloodhound puppy, ears flopping all around. Bloodhoundish. Ears here. Whoa, now she's a loud <laughs> flapper. Yeah, we don't need our super ear sensors to hear a vulture flying. I see the vulture, but uh, where are the ears? What do you mean, Zav? No ears. Oh, yeah, she has ears. But where are they then? There's one right there, right behind her eye. And the other one is right here. Phew, I see them. Her ears, a hole in the side of her head. Ears here. <laughs> hey, and here's a message from Jackie. I have a fox den in my backyard, and I'm a good neighbor. Being a good neighbor to creatures means giving them their space. <laughs> and that's what I do. I just watch. One thing I love about fox kids is how big their ears look when they're little. Foxes use their ears to find food. Birds have ears, and foxes use their ears to find food. Hey, that's what your fellow <laughs> lemur, the Aye Aye, does too. Yeah, Aye Aye, but Aye Aye likes bugs. <laughs> hey, do you want to go see how the Aye Aye uses his ears to find bugs? Let's go find the Aye Aye. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. What was that? I'd know that tapping sound anywhere. Yeah, it sounds like an eye eye for sure. But where is he? Hey, Chris. Yeah, knock it off. Knock what off? Don't, I'm not gonna fall for that old and eye eyes tapping you on the head trick. Come on. I'm not tapping you on the head. Wow. <gasps> an eye eye. Wow. <laughs> what an incredible creature. Look at his fingers. They're so long and skinny, especially the middle one. And how about that face? What a funny looking lemur. Hey, you hear that? And I, I sniffs like he always has a cold. <laughs> and check out those ears. Ears, that's what we're here to check out. How does an I, I find food with his ears? Let's listen. You know what's going on? All right, let's go through it. And I, I taps with his finger. Then he listens with his ears to hear a bug crawling around inside. 
takes great ears to hear a bug hiding in the wood. If he hears one, he starts digging with his teeth. Ouch! Ah! My teeth aren't made for digging wood like an Aya's teeth are. Try a chisel. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. An Aya's teeth are as strong as this tool. That's how an Aya digs through hard wood. And when he finds a bug, he eats it. <laughs> Let's watch him do it again. Okay, he taps and listens for where the bugs are hiding. He hears one. Now he bites through the wood right at the spot. Then he uses his long middle finger to pick out a nice, juicy bug. He got it! Wow. Yo. Fur and I have. I love eye eyes. He's heading back to the treetops, and we're heading back to Animal Junction. Sabu? Sabu? This is weird. Where'd Sabu go? Hmm. There aren't any other animals here either. Hey! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Hi, Toothbrush. Remember him? This is our friend Toothbrush. <laughs> you snuck up on us. <laughs> Doesn't it seem weird that such a big animal can move so quietly? Yeah, and the secret is in the elephant's foot. An elephant's foot is soft and padded, so he can walk without making much sound. That's how you snuck up on us. <laughs> so, we figured out how an elephant can sneak up behind us, but we still don't know where Zabu is. I'm here, behind the ear. Phew! I've been hiding behind Toothbrush's ear the whole time. <laughs> That's a great place to hide. <laughs> they fell for the old hide behind the elephant ear trick. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. look how huge an elephant's ear is. On those hot African days, the heat in an elephant's body can escape through his ears. That's how those ears cool an elephant off. They must work great, because they're so big. <laughs> That's why I hid there. You know what? I had a friend who was all ears, well, almost all ears, in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 and looking for mangoes to eat. Couldn't see any. Hmm. Yeah. Couldn't smell any. <sighs> and I was hungry, so I yelled, Hello, Sensit! I need your help! Coming, Zabu! <laughs> I knew he'd hear me, because he's practically all ears. Hi, Zabu! <laughs> what can I do for you? Hi, Sinset. I'm looking for mango fruits. Do you hear any? <laughs> mango fruits. <laughs> oh, yeah, that way. <laughs> While we were on our way, we heard goobo oh. making sounds. Oh. 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 Hmm, but that wasn't the sound of mango fruits. Well, then we heard green puppy making sounds. <laughs> that wasn't the sound of mangoes. <laughs> then we heard wiggy making sounds. <laughs> <laughs> then finally, Sense Its Ears found what we were looking for. Mangoes! Oh, can't you hear them? <laughs> I didn't hear a sound until we started eating. Oh, Yummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> e end. Hey, how did you guys get those mangoes out of Zabu land? <laughs> we didn't, Zabu. <laughs> I got them out of the fridge while you were telling your story. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, can I have a bite? Sure. Uh. Hey, Chris, what was your favorite part of the day? I liked Zabu's buddy sensing and how he could hear mangoes! a fruit. Mangoes! No, can't you hear them? <laughs> and I loved the way the Aya used his ears to find bugs. What'd you like, Zab? Zab? <laughs> I liked when the animals snuck up on you guys. The bloodhound? Bloodhound! The Aya? An Aya! Wow. 
the elephant? Hey! Where'd you come from? And me. And you never heard us coming. <laughs> This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Hey, let's go swimming with seals. Yes. Did you know that seals can close their ears underwater? We'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. Hi, my name is Eddie, and this is my dog, Cartman. He's my best friend, and I love him. <laughs> <laughs>